What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. As y'all saw in this video, we're going a little bit early with the review. The, this shoe has not released yet. Uh, there is a couple places, I think a few, s and uh, and there may be a couple other places. I don't know if End is doing a raffle for them, but it seems like it's going to be a pretty limited shoe um, so far. We'll see. It is kind of a pack. They have this pair right here, which is the AJ1 Low Paris, and they also do have the Milan version dropping, which y'all can see right here. I'm going after both pairs uh, just after seeing this pair. I'm not really a fan of lows, to be honest. Not just low ones, but like the dunk lows are, I guess, in style right now again. And I'm just not a fan of lows. I, I like the dunk highs. That's why I cop those. But to each his own, cop what you like, guys. I just wanted to bring y'all this review so y'all could check them out. And this is thanks to the homie Retro Wiz Kid. Y'all have heard him on the channel before. That's the homie, the broski. Uh, y'all go check out his YouTube, subscribe to his channel as well if you're not already subscribed to his channel. Check out those early reviews. This is a pair that came from him. And uh, yeah, y'all see the sizing right here. Size 11, Air Jordan 1 Low. Now the colorway on this one right here is white, sky gray, football gray. Retail is a US $100, so definitely affordable shoe. And actually, like I said, I'm not the fan of Lowe's, but when I saw the quality used on this shoe, I don't know, I had to go after them. Let's get into the shoe. I don't want to talk you here. I'll scoot it over a little bit so y'all can check the shoe out. We're going to do a little <coughs> unboxing right here. Y'all see it's a classic box. Or the box we were getting before, I guess you could say, since it is a low, but I mean, I'm not going to say I don't care about a box, but on this particular shoe, they knocked it out the park with the quality on the shoe. So you get that 23 paper. Got the Nike receipt in there, of course. I'm not gonna show that, but regular Nike box. We're gonna put it over here. I don't know if y'all can see the shoes that are underneath the box now, but uh, we got the Jordan 3 Unites holding those up. <laughs> so it is what it is. But man, all I gotta say is, yeah. All right, guys, I kind of adjusted my lighting because I was getting some shadows where I shouldn't have had them. But let's start over again. Bam, the Air Jordan 1 Low Paris. Y'all could see the detailing on the shoe. This toe box area right here, actually the surrounding toe box area, I want to say, is like a short hair suede. Kind of keeps the strokes, but not too much. But it is a real premium feel to it. It feels nice and soft. Now moving on with the shoe. This area right here and the swoosh are the same material. It's like a leather. But it feels like a suede. Like it feels real soft. Nice premium feel to it. And this is actually feeling like the same material that the, the tag is made out of. Which you can see right there. It's uh, embossed or debossed. I can't remember. But it has that PRS with the Nike check. There we go. Get it around the right way. And uh, yeah, that feels real nice. And that gray, both all this is in that same gray color. This leather right here, <clears throat> this white leather is kind of, I want to say perforated, but not exactly. I'll get in as close as I can. And I'll show you more on the B-roll. But it has like some slight notations of holes on it, but not exactly. Um... Now moving on to the inner part of the shoe and the upper right here. It's a little bit different on materials. Like I said, they switch the materials a lot, but you can see this right here reminds me like of the ballistic, um, the ballistic mesh used on the Jordan 11s, the uppers, as well as it's transferred over to the tongue material, the whole tongue. And it does have that gold uh, jump or Jordan Air, I guess you could say, Jumpman, that Jumpman logo with the air. And this material right here is that same leather that was on that gray area it feels like a suede but it's a leather as well so they use some good materials on this jordan one low the back right here has that classic wings logo it is embossed or debossed like i said into the suede and it does feel nice nice and soft like they, they use premium materials on this shoe and i'm glad they did it's a nice colorway um they do also get away with this slight blue hint in my opinion on the midsole like it's a little bit blue 
and the bottom right here this very bottom of the midsole is a gray color y'all see that classic jordan one bottom but like i said if you don't look at it closely you won't notice it this is gray this is like a light blue like lighter than the blue that's on the bottom on the, on the back of the shoe and it's just crazy that they hit us with so many different colors but it all goes together so well the toe box area y'all can see right here feels like a very very soft premium suede like it feels nice and i haven't seen this kind of quality used on a jordan one low maybe never i don't know it does have like a tumble effect to it but it feels like a suede but it has the grain of a leather if y'all can see it right there i'm trying not to get in the in the shot and give you the most clear close-up view of it y'all can see the suede right there and it's just crazy they use good materials on this jordan one low this is one if you're debating on whether to go after a jordan one or you're thinking of trying to get a jordan one this is probably the one to go after in my opinion uh just due to the quality they're using on the shoes like it's great quality i don't normally go after lows like i said i don't care if the dunk hot, uh, dunk lows are hot right now i like the dunk highs more and it is what it is everybody likes what they like the interior both sides are the same on the interior but it is like that blue color that's on the heel area and of course it does have a gold jump man men's size 11 which is retro whiz kids size now i didn't mention it but the laces in my opinion feel like they're different laces not just the same laces that come on the jordan one lows and y'all can see right here i'll pull it up so y'all can focus on it hopefully the lace tips are like a plastic but they are gold so it does keep with that gold theme that goes throughout the shoe on the tongue on the interior and on the lace tips now overall i feel they did a good job on combining the colors of the shoes different materials and personally this feels like a shoe that yeah the prices are up on it they may drop a little bit since it hasn't actually released yet but they gave you premium materials and i just feel like they did it right and hopefully my lights ain't blasting them out too much but like i said i'm gonna give you all the b-roll of this shoe i just wanted to show you these if you're thinking about signing up for any raffles i think like i said uh a few i believe uh was it s and s sneakers and stuff and there's a couple other places doing it but it's kind of seeming like it's limited supposedly releasing on february 22nd i haven't seen it on my sneakers app the last time i checked so i'm not sure if they're even dropping on sneakers that's why i'm saying it's a limited release you can't find it everywhere and there's not like uh hibbits raffle Foot Locker, shoe palace so this looks like one of those sleeper shoes that if you don't get it on release day you may have to pay resale if you really want to get the shoe and honestly the quality is there so i mean if you're a fan of jordan one lows and you strike out this may be one of the few ones that i would say just pay resale while it's still low but prices always fluctuate a lot so you never know i can't nobody can judge the market but um yeah guys again shout out to retro i wanted to check this shoe out uh he let he let me know he hit me up if i wanted to hold on to it and check it out and just the way they color blocked everything the way the midsole has like a blue hue to it then the bottoms are actually gray just kept with the same theme that's on the uppers and it was well executed in my opinion they didn't overdo the shoe like they do on some shoes and uh yeah guys there's not too much more i can say about the shoe i mean the shoe speaks for itself all right guys and i kind of tried to turn it off my light that was on this side so y'all can see the shoe a little bit better in natural natural lighting i guess you could say it has a little bit of a shadow effect but that way you could see the actual materials and it's just crazy like they actually went all out on the jordan one on this jordan one low paris i do like the milan mid and i am more a fan of the mids than the lows like i said the lows are not my favorite favorite model but this one was well done and i don't have any complaints about it if i do happen to get one it's staying in the collection guys super dope uh shoe in my opinion and uh comment down below let me know if you're gonna be going after this shoe if you think it's worth it but yeah guys you see the shoe in the background yet again shout out to the broski retro whiz kid go throw him a follow on his ig on twitter on uh, on youtube sub to his channel 
check out his videos if you're not already subbed to him, which I know most of y'all should be already. If you're not, like I said, his link will be down in the description so y'all can go check out his channel. Uh, and yeah, that's about it, guys. Hope you enjoy the B-roll. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you too can be part of that 210 Guy Kicks fam. We're almost 2200 strong, guys. We're going in. I appreciate everybody rocking out with the channel. Really does mean a lot to me when y'all comment and just show love to the channel overall. And uh, yeah, guys, just doing it. Got plenty more coming. At least one video every day this week, so stay tuned. We got a lot of videos to record. I may be wearing the same digs because... Yeah, it is what it is. Getting my grind on, guys. But anyway, it's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Peace, guys. To the next one.